Hello there, YouTube. Uh, Jack Lick here. No, it hasn't been a while since I've had a video up, but uh, changed jobs. New jobs been keeping me busy, uh, but I did get to pick up some games this month and decided to finally take the time to make a video and share them with you guys. Uh, now I'm going to be going by console, so I'm going to start out with uh, the Dreamcast. Uh, pick these up for next to nothing, and so they're a little banged up, but I collect more for the games than anything else. Uh, starting out with uh, NFL Blitz 2001. Picked up some NFL Quarterback Club 2000. Uh, this one's really banged up, but Sega Sports NFL 2K2. And the one that really weirded me out is a uh, sealed copy of Sega Bass Fishing, which I guess somebody bought it and never opened it. Uh, managed to pick up one Game Gear. Uh, once again, next to nothing. It's WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Uh, had some fun playing with it. Uh, my Game Gear has the problem where it won't play sound right now. So I need to tear it apart and replace the parts for that. No big deal, but still. I uh, managed to pick up only one GameCube game. That's just because it was dirt cheap as well. Uh, Batman Vengeance. Haven't played it yet. I dug into it, waiting for time with my son to be able to tear into it. Since we're both uh, Batman fans. At least more so than anything else. Uh, now for the Genesis, I had a few different things. Uh, one is that when I was in uh, a place that I like to visit often, I found this box. And the box had a Genesis 2 in it. But not knowing if this worked, and also knowing that I need the Goofy adapter or I need to hack it, uh, pardon me, mod it, in order to get it to work, I wasn't too terribly excited. Then I noticed that it had a broken controller, which I wasn't too thrilled with. It had a perfectly fine three-button controller and two six-button controllers, which I had been looking for nonstop for a decent price. Also in the box was a power cord for a uh, Generation 1 Genesis. Two, two uh, RF plugs for a Genesis 1, which didn't work either, but also had four different games in the box. The not-for-resale version of Sonic 1, Sonic 2. Um, Tiny Toons, Buster's Hidden Treasure, I watched Tiny Toons ages ago, this is the one that really threw me, because I don't think I've seen it at all, it's called Mick and Mac Global Gladiators, and if you'll notice right there, that's a McDonald's logo, which threw me, so of course when I put it in I was like, wow, Oh, this game weird. Um, so all that came in one box for a ridiculously low price of twelve ninety nine. So I was stoked, mainly just because of the controllers, because I've been looking for those forever. Now, uh, of course, after I got the six button controllers, I had to run out and buy some more stuff. So of course, while I, while I was there, picked up Judge Dredd. And these were just at my local movie trading company. I uh, picked up Eternal Champions because I remember that this was only for the Genesis. I remember it being kind of bad, but... Yeah. Uh, also picked up WrestleMania, the arcade game. Just because I remember that being fun. It's not as much as I remember from the original arcade game, like the real arcade game, but... Yeah. And I also ended up getting, and oops, look, the price tag's still on this, but uh, Street Fighter 2 
Special Champion Edition. Now, I originally picked up Super Street Fighter, but it died. So, it didn't quite stay. So, I had to return it, and then that's when I picked up the Champion Edition. Now, um, I'm a Mac guy, and when I was wandering around, I found this. Prince of Persia, the one with Elica, for the Mac. Found it for next to nothing. So I picked it up, and it's a really fun game. Um, I don't mind the fact that you can't lose, because I'm kind of over that. But it's a lot. it was a lot of fun. Um, I love Tomb Raider. Horrible, guilty pleasure of mine. And I don't have the system to play this yet. But I picked up a sealed copy of Tomb Raider for the N-Gage. Still got the... Still got the seal and everything. So now I need to find an N-Gage, and then I'll be able to play that. Um, while wandering around, I also uh, stumbled across some 64 games that were just going... for ridiculously cheap. Uh, Knockout Kings 2000, which was 99 cents, so I had to grab it. Uh, Cruising USA, fantastic game, 99 cents as well. Now I've got a reason to finally pick up a wheel. Uh, Excite Bike 64, which for a buck 99. I mean, it's a buck 99. You can't go wrong there. So I had fun with it. I also picked up a game case, which I don't have. Uh, I didn't feel like dragging down here. Now the problem with the game case, as anybody remembers, is that the 64 doesn't have anything on this side. So when you put all of them in the case and you pull them out of the drawer, this is all you see. Which really doesn't help me. And I don't feel like actually drawing on them, and forgive me for not cleaning these up yet. But I was kind of excited to get them. Now, um, there's a place here in Dallas called First Saturday. And it started out as a ham radio swap meet ages and ages ago and you can search uh, first saturday dallas and it'll give you the information on it but it's kind of a fun place to go when you're looking for picking up uh computer parts or just random stuff uh, i stumbled across some uh nintendo games and the weird thing was i mean they were covered in ink from an exploded pen or something but uh they all had sleeves which was really nice now one Oh, I'll get to that one last. Uh, the, one of the ones I picked up is uh, Faxanadu. And as you can see, it's got the ink there on the cover. But once again, I just want to play the games. So I'm okay with that. Uh, the one that I picked up... Don't ask. Little Mermaid. I guess it's a weird fascination that I think I have to have this on every system. Even though I know I already have it, and it's not really any different of a game. I mean, you swim around, and you avoid... I don't know. Um, this one was just kind of thrown in. Uh, Baseball Simulator 1000. And they, I've tested them all, and they work. So I was kind of impressed. Baseball Simulator is surprisingly hard. I don't like fielding in that game. And I did have uh, Batman Return of the Joker. But turned out one of my buddies... Tanner really, really wanted it, so I uh, basically swapped him for a PS1 memory card, and it's a really cool, it's a mega memory card, mega memory card, and because I want to go back and play through all of the Tomb Raider games, and unfortunately the Tomb Raider games don't work well on the P PS3, and I by well I mean at all in some instances, so I'm going to go back and uh, play them on either the, the PS1 that I have, which is the the old one that you have to turn upside down, which is real fun, uh, or I'm gonna have to get it on the Dreamcast and go that route. Um, but speaking of the PlayStation, another thing that I picked up ridiculously cheap is this Animaniacs Ten Penale. Now my friends and I are all huge Animaniacs fans, so to find this was really awesome. To find it sealed was absolutely amazing. Now, 
this is one of the few games that I will be tempted not to open. Because normally, I don't care. But it's Animaniacs, so I might just leave it alone. And then try and find another one to be able to actually play it. Um, and then, uh, Fallout 3, again, for the PlayStation 3. Uh, I bought it originally, and then I got rid of it. And then uh, I looked back a little later and decided that I really did want it. Uh, and I, I'm playing it again. I'm having a blast now that I understand a little bit more of what I'm doing. Because it also probably helps that I went back and played Fallout 2 not too long ago. Just because I love that game as well. Uh, the last things that I picked up um, were... Uh, once again, Dirt Cheap, and this is Revolution X for the Sega Saturn. I don't know if you can see that, it's upside down. Now, once again, I don't own a Sega Saturn. Go ahead and uh, boo me if you want. But that was 95 cents, and I think the rest of these were all 35, so I just couldn't pass them up. Uh, Daytona USA. Virtua Cop and Virtua Fighter 2. And they're all in these little sleeves, and I don't really know the history of that, haven't looked that up yet, so I can only imagine that they came packed in with something. I don't know. But uh, this I remember being a really good game. The Virtua Cop line, I don't remember offhand whether it was good or not. Um, and I also picked up a Game Shark for the Game Boy Advance, which I had to tear apart and clean to get working. But it does actually work now, and uh, I believe there are a few games that I might actually play through just because I can turn on uh, Indestructible. And yes, I heard some of you saying, for shame, don't do that. But I'm, I don't care anymore. Um, that's about it for this month. Uh, I'm pretty much done looking around, and uh, I did finally get a chance to finish a game that I've been meaning to forever, which is Geist for the GameCube, and I've got a review working on that, and that'll be up uh, by the end of the week. And until then, uh, take care.